Hello, Level 2 Physicists, and welcome to our next lesson in Level 2 uh, Mechanics, Motion Under Gravity. And the particular concept we'll look in detail today at is free fall. And this is where we're going to apply those kinematic equations that we learned in the last lesson. So, first thing is, what is free fall? So free fall is essentially motion where there is no air resistance. Okay, so we make some assumptions, some assumptions sometimes in physics, uh, and one of the assumptions, at least in free fall, is going to be there is no air resistance. So acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so on Earth, the acceleration, of course, being a vector, is going to have a magnitude, a size, and a direction. Okay, so in terms of uh, objects that are dropping, that is going to be negative, okay, so remember the direction, negative 9.81 meters per second per second. Okay, so that's going to be the acceleration due to gravity, at least on Earth. So I did say we're going to use our kinematic equations, so just to make sure that you have memorized them, these are the four that you have to know. Well, not really know, because you'll, you'll be given the, the, um, the equations in the paper, but you have to be able to access them and know how to use them. And this is what this topic will allow us to do. So there's several scenarios when we look at um, freefall. So the first thing is, well, what if we drop something? What do we actually know? Okay, so we don't know the distance. We do know the initial velocity because it comes from rest. Okay, so the initial velocity, if I went on to the top of the school building and dropped a ball, it would be zero meters per second. Uh, the final velocity, we don't really know, but we do know the acceleration. Because it is in a gravitational field, the acceleration uh, due to gravity will be minus 9.81 meters per second per second. So when you're dealing with questions like this, at least we have two knowns automatically. Uh, another case is, well, what if you throw something up? Okay, again, we don't know the distance, but we could possibly calculate that using economic equations. Uh, we now don't know the initial uh, velocity, okay, because you are actually physically throwing the ball up, but we do know that the final velocity at the top of the um, motion is going to be zero meters per second. It's going to stop before it comes down again. And again, the acceleration is minus 9.81 meters per second per second. And finally, uh, time we don't know. And the other case that we can look at is what if you uh, throw something down? Okay, so again, we don't know the distance. We don't know the initial velocity this time. Um, we don't know the final velocity. All we know is the acceleration due to gravity, because now you're actually adding something to the initial velocity, so we don't know that. So those are the three kind of cases that we'll look at when we look at our free fall problems in class.